Hi everyone, this is Carrie Cole with Side by Side Educational Consulting, where we work side by side with educators to improve outcomes for all kids. Today I want to talk to you about phonological awareness, a critical component in teaching kids how to learn to read. Phonological awareness is essentially the ability to identify and manipulate sound structures in words. Things like syllables, onset rhymes, and phonemes, which are sounds. What we know is proficient readers absolutely have phonological awareness. Kids who do not have phonological awareness are going to struggle learning to read, and knowing that we need to provide explicit instruction that's going to build those phonological awareness skills to ensure that every child learns to read and learns to spell at proficient levels. We're going to do a video series on this subject and as we talk through that we're going to be looking at the levels of phonological awareness which will better allow you to differentiate in your classroom according to student need because not all students are going to come in at the same level in terms of their phonological awareness. We're going to take those levels of phonological awareness and then talk about what that might look like in a classroom at each of those levels so that you can think about ways to implement those different um, phonological awareness strategies, instructional strategies into your classroom. We're also going to talk about um, the types of phonological awareness that uh, are more predictive of reading achievement. There are certain types of phonological awareness that we need to get kids to in terms of um, getting them to proficient levels of reading. So we'll talk about those. And then the last thing that we're going to talk about are those more, more advanced levels of phonological awareness. Because those advanced levels are what um, some of the recent research is telling us that kids need to get to in, to, in order to become automatic at their reading. So stay tuned in because all of the later videos we're going to be able to take you through all of those key components that I just talked about and that's going to help you to better be able to meet the needs of the kids in your classroom. Thanks so much for watching. Remember if you found this helpful give us a thumbs up and also remember that you can subscribe to the channel. We're going to have a new video coming out every week. Thanks so much for watching.